Hey guys, I'm going to talk about um, I'm changing my backup method uh, in case of an emergency. I used to use Time Machine. I found it too restrictive, not very many options. Uh, so I decided to go with Carbon Copy Cloner, which recently, uh, a couple days ago, came out with a new version um, updated for Mountain Lion. Uh, another thing they also changed was uh, it was Donationware, and now it's a fully paid app. Now let's going back to Time Machine. Uh, I just being too restrictive is I couldn't control when to do when it does the the backups. Um, it automatically backed up every hour, and then it also does uh, I think maybe daily, weekly, monthly, or something like that. Well, to me that was a problem, and also it it pretty much copies everything. So over time. Uh, the hard drive you'd be back up to would eventually fill all the way up and then it would ask you, do you want to overwrite an older backup? And uh, to me, like I said, I don't want to do that. So um, you can, with Carbon Copy Cloner, you can choose to do it that way like Time Machine does and writes everything, or you can just back up only the most recently updated files and that's it which I, I choose as well and then obviously you're going to save on hard drive space uh, for the backup as well so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the new version we're going to take a look at um, my preferred backup method it used to be time machine it just had too many limitations so uh, I now use uh, carbon copy cloner uh, available for the uh, Mac OS 10 uh, they recently came out with a new version um, for mountain lion and it also went from donationware to a paid app. And now, let me go ahead and bring it up right here. And then a lot of people just use it for just cloning hard drives. Let's say um, they're going to upgrade their hard drive to a much larger one. Then they, they'll clone it to the larger hard drive. And or if they have a failure and then they can... Uh, put the uh, clone the operating system onto a new one. Of course, that's not the only feature. Um, it also makes a pretty good backup as well, considering um, not only can you back up with it, um, if you need that backup right away, then and there, you can do so until you get your um, other hard drive uh, working again. And um, another neat feature also is um, to make incremental backups. And you can do that here by uh, task scheduler right here. And uh, you can do it uh, quite uh, differently, hourly, daily, weekly, monthly. And uh, I, f I find that weekly is more than enough for me. Uh, another reason to get away from Time Machine. Or you can just push the run button right here and do it then and there. And you can also set it up where it actually sends you an email once it's completed. And it can also wake from sleep, run the backup, and go back to sleep again. And another uh, nice new feature. And then you can use this um, e uh, send you email once it's completed just to let you know that it has completed if there was any error messages or it worked fine. Now I'm hoping the developer is going to implement uh, with Mountain Line. Um, to, to use the notification system as well, not just, you know, email, but it'll send a notification once it's completed. That would be a nice feature to implement. And uh, another thing here with uh, Carbon Copy Cloner um, for operating systems, of course, utilizes the uh, recovery partition or hidden one. Uh, you can do that also. Um, now, I haven't implemented uh, this one yet I haven't because uh, I just today installed Mountain Lion and this um, backup is only for Lion, so I'm going to have to re-do uh, another backup and then I, I'm going to create a, a recovery partition. What it actually does is automatically shrink um, the partition down uh, and I think here it says a 2 gigabyte backup partition or actually might be more than that and then make a new partition for the recovery and then install that uh, from the Mac OS uh, X uh, Lion or whatever uh, you have. So uh, I like this new version and I'm going to be using it uh, from now on for my backups.